What's going on guys? Hope you're having a great day. Uh, this is a couple sets that I played <coughs> uh, yesterday in a battle lounge as Rose. Um, this is against a couple of Malaysian players. And I think I go on a pretty good streak here. Uh, I do quite well. So this is going to be like a, a vlog of some sort. A Street Fighter vlog. Where I uh, I talk about the game and uh, talk about the match, the matchups that you're watch that you're currently watching. I give some tips, share some insights. So uh, Rose versus Jury, I think is actually <coughs> pretty even matchup. Um, while Jury can go through Rose's fireballs with uh she has the v skill that goes through like she can fly across the whole screen with and punish your fireballs so you can't really throw fireballs um you know as freely as you want to but at the same time rose also has the ex spiral which goes through jury's fireballs <coughs> right so <coughs> my game plan here is really i mean most of the time when you when you face jury what she's going to be doing is she's going to be like yeah look she's going to like backdash charge her fireballs right and then while she's far away she'll throw one and then she'll try to dash in so you can see that there's ex soul spiral to go through the fireball but um my game plan is basically to chase her down whenever she she does this so you can see like i'm aggressively moving forward so that uh i'll gain some space when she does that and yeah try to punish her fireballs with the ex spiral right and watch out for her dash because i noticed something a lot of juries like to do is they'll back dash back dash back dash and then every once in a while they'll mix in a forward dash so be sure to watch out for the dash and punish her forward dash <coughs> oh yeah so this is uh first to three first to three rounds i think there's a couple of people inside the lobby so we wanted to keep the game short uh, so that you know people won't have to wait as long for their turn but <clears throat> yeah so I think it's a pretty even matchup um, of course once you get jury in the corner um, be sure to keep pressuring her and don't let her come out and also I think a few things to take note of is like Especially when she has a V trigger, is that she can cancel her moves into. Like, she can make her move safe, right? So, usually, moves that are not safe, like her, her heavy kick, that like this heavy kick, she can actually cancel it. So, um, watch out for that. I always get hit by it because I, I think, oh, it's a heavy kick, it's minus, let me press. But uh, she cancels it into a V trigger. Uh, in this instance, she's using VT two, but VT one she can cancel it into the, uh, you know, the other kicks. Oh, I don't know what you call it. <laughs> I don't know the moves, name of moves in this game. <coughs> yeah. So on to the next match, which is Seth. And I think, I think this is favored. For Seth, definitely a bit fa more favored towards Seth because uh, he has very strong rushdown and it's hard to keep him out with his dive kicks. It's hard to it really messes up your anti air, especially as Rose, because the anti air will stuff your crouch heavy punch usually. <coughs> and uh, a few things to take note of, I guess, is. Knowing that, uh, you know, whenever you're playing a character, a zoning character like Rose or Sagat or, or Ryu, like, you know, those typical fireball characters, is moves that go through your fireball, right? And for Seth, he has that uh, Tatsu, the spin kick, which is his Tatsu. It actually goes through the fireballs. And uh, there's a few ways to stop that. You can either jump or there's actually one more way, which I found out recently when I watched uh, Brandon, one of the best Akumas, actually the best Akuma in Southeast Asia, 
uh, played against Sien and he three he three zero Sien in the Intel World Open Regional Finals. And I learned something from watching him, which I'll share at the end of this match, on how to deal with Seth's Tatsu if you're playing like a five ball character. It's a very cool, very cool tech, which I'll share at the end of this match. But uh, so yeah, so be sure to stick around. Yeah, see, like over there, that Tatsu went through the fireball and punished me. So yeah, so be aware of that. And also, I think another thing to take note of is like the Tatsus. Um, you have to know your punishes for the Tatsus. Uh, and as well as to differentiate between which Tatsu is safe and which Tatsu... Like the light, the light and medium kick Tatsus are actually minus for Seth. And only the heavy one is plus two. So you have to be able to, to tell like which one is the light, which one is the medium one. And uh, be sure to take your turn back when it's when it's minus. So yeah, I think Seth actually is pretty paper. So if you're able to pressure him, uh, don't be afraid. What I'm saying is don't be afraid to pressure him because he has more to lose than you. He has pretty low HP and uh, you know, don't respect him too much on his wake up. Because if he, like if you see, if he does that uh, DP over there, takes a lot of damage. Alright, so this was the tech I was talking about. Just a little trick that you can do in a neutral against Sash Tatsu. So what Brandon did here was, after his initial fireball, he dashed forward predicting that Sien would do the Tatsu to try to catch his second fireball. But because he dashed forward, he was able to punish the Tatsu. He was in range to punish the Tatsu from Seth. So something you can include in your neutral if you're playing against Seth. Alright, so Rose versus Gao. Uh, I think this is a very good matchup for Rose. Simply because you can go through his Sonic Booms with a slide as well as a EX Spiral. So you can really shut down the Sonic Boom game. And uh, I think Rose definitely wins in the neutral against Gal. Without a doubt. Like you still have your fireballs. You know, you can go through his but he can't go through yours. So it's very I think it's very favorable for Rose. But um, yeah, so basically my whole game plan is to just beat him in the neutral, like stop his jump ins, stop his dash ins, and whenever he has down charge, uh, whenever he has back charge, watch out for his sonic booms, punish with the EX spiral and the slide, and if he gives you space. What I like to do is use my V skill one to build V gauge, the tarot cards. So you get to use your you get your you get access to V shift and V trigger a lot quicker, and you might even get be able to build two V triggers in one round, which is, I mean that's that's very very strong. Like it's hard to outlast two V triggers, right? If you're Gal. I mean, maybe you can block one fire, fireball teleport, right? But can you can you block four? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah, so really... Um, yeah, it's really favorable matchup, as you can see. Just trying to go... You even have the air fireballs to... Let's say he... Dis like, Gao decides to, to play aggressively. Let's say he sonic boom and then he like tries to follow the boom. You can jump over the fireball and then do an air fireball to sort of negate that. Alright, so I'll just do a couple more matches. I'll talk about some uh, matches from ranked. This is a ranked set, so it's the standard format. First to two sets, first to two rounds, and first to two. Yeah, first to two. So this is a rank set I came across. Total Sagat. <laughs> Apparently this guy has a YouTube channel focused on Sagat tech. So let's see how Rose 
does against Sagat. And I think Rose beats Sagat. Like, totally, totally beats Sagat. It's kind of like the similar to the Gao matchup where you can just shut down his whole game plan of throwing fireballs. And there's not much Sagat can do. I mean, what's he going to do? So definitely try to use your long range normals um, to catch him throwing fireballs. And also, uh, similar to the Gao matchup, you know, use your slide and EX spiral to go through his fireballs. That's the key to this matchup. And then, once you get V, once you get V trigger, you know, it's it's hard for it's really it's really hard for Sagat to do anything. So over here, he fireballed my deep. He DP'd my fireball, my fireball twice in a row, which was like. What? Like, how does he do that, right? So... I don't know, but back to neutral and... Basically, just... There's not much Sagat can do, like, what... What can he do on offense, really, that, that's going to be a, a very scary? Nothing. It's just... Standard stuff. Of course, I'm, I'm getting destroyed here. Because I'm... Trying to press buttons or something, I don't know. But... Yeah, you can see like, even though he blocked that cross-up fireball, you can see like he blocked the cross-up fireball, right? But... You still... It's still advantageous for you because you get, you get to land a jump-in attack. And every time you land a jump-in attack in this game, you're, you're at an advantage. Because you're plus. Right, you get to do like t you can you get to go for a mix up like throw, shimmy, frame trap. So it's a very high value V trigger that even if they block the cross up fireball, you you still get advantage, right? And you get two uses of the teleport, so that's like two jump ins. And if they don't block it well, <laughs> it's easy win. So yeah, you can see like, what can Sagat do really? Like, I'm just, I'm just beating him in a neutral. What's he gonna do? Of course, I'm, I'm, I'm of course, this isn't like Bon Chan Sagat, right? I don't know how, how different that would be, but. Like, I think, objectively speaking, I'm not saying like I'm a better player than this guy. I'm just saying like Rose versus Sagat. Rose, I think, wins. I mean, it's hard to say who's a better player at times when there's so many things that's dependent on the character that you're using. And I feel like, all things being equal, Rose should win this matchup. So you're gonna have to practice a bit to like be able to react to the fireballs. Takes a bit of practice. But it's not it's, it's actually possible to do it 